Hello, welcome to other GTV South Sudan Global. Today's video is about Juba Barakadal Road, a road to nowhere. Let's go down the memory lane. My brother Mayik did not have no, any problem with me. The king fi mikra wahda. The road to Bahr al Ghazal. The company which we contracted was Shengdong High Speed. How did it come out that you know it is now Shengdong Nile, Nile Investment? That that was the problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, the road was started in a very poor way. One rain you know, destroyed it all. It is bad that he is not here. So that he could have answered if he has anything to, to say about it. Hello. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and we will continue to bring you informative videos. Barakada Road construction work began in 2015 when President Keir Wells from Barakadal inaugurated it. In 2019, a new contract with a Chinese company was signed and the government pumped millions of dollars into it. However, the road construction has not taken off due to the following problems. Number one, rampant corruption. Corruption in South Sudan has become the way of life. The country is flooded with scandals emanating from rivers and oceans of corruptions. Literally, every deal requires a bribe for it to be accomplished. From the grassroots to the upper echelon of South Sudanese society, corruption rules the streets. As such, those given a budget and mandated by the president to coordinate the Juba Barakada road ended up stealing and stashing away the money in foreign banks. There is no end in sight. Number two, lack of involvement of local engineers in construction. Local engineers understand the landscape of South Sudan. Furthermore, their knowledge of locally sourced construction materials and come handy. Ironically, it's looked like the people of South Sudan do not believe in themselves. Africans, if not only South Sudanese, think that Chinese, Westerners, and Arabs engineers are more brilliant than our engineers. Wrong. Bear in mind, involving our engineers in the local projects like Juba Barakada Road is a good idea to promote homegrown talent and employment. Additionally, these engineers come with their patriotism and hence are obliged to complete the project more successfully than outsiders would do. Number three, substandard products or shoddy deals. Again, corruption plays an ugly role in this scenario. Instead of sourcing high-quality raw materials for construction at an affordable cost, the corrupt lords swindle all the money, leaving little for affording substandard raw materials. There was a laughable movement a while back when the so-called Juba Barakada Road was supposedly completed and the president was scheduled to open it a few days later only for it to be watched off the very day it was completed by the plot. The reason it happened was because substandard raw materials were used. Remember, cheap is expensive. Number four, in plate construction costs. Public tender projects have been known to be the genesis of corruption across Africa. This has led to the emergence of a new class of garage quick, also known as tenderpreneurs. Tenderpreneurs are those who are awarded tenders at an inflated cost by their connections within the government departments. Notably, they do not submit any bid or meet the requirements at all. They just wake up and voila, they are projects to do on behalf of the government. Everyone along the corruption chain gets a cut, including those Kabir or Big Guy. By the end of the day, public money has been wasted and there is nothing to show for it. 
This is the third that defiled Juba Barakadal Road. Number five, lack of time frame or lack of monitoring and evaluation mechanism. Nobody cares about putting a time limit on the Juba Barakadal Road construction. The project has been going on in Pinito. Moreover, no one cares about monitoring or evaluating the Juba Barakadal Road construction. The overseers are all busy with tea shops politics, leaving the Chinese to do whatever they want to do with the project. In conclusion, these are just a few reasons why Juba Barakada Road construction is going on for years with no end in sight. Let us know in the comment section any other reasons you think are delaying Juba Barakada Road construction. Please don't forget to subscribe to other GTV South Sudan Global.